Hi guys, sorry I couldn't be in class today. Um, what we're gonna do instead is you're gonna watch me on video, second best thing. You're gonna need your grammar notebook today if you have not done so, go ahead and get those. Uh, we're gonna be talking about action, linking, and helping verbs, okay? Your grammar notebook should be open and at the top you need to write, I can define and what an action, I can define what an action, linking, and helping verb is. Go ahead, pause the video, get that down. So if you push play, this is what your notebook should look like, okay? Um, the sub should have handed out some foldables, okay? Those should be cut out, glued on, taped on, however you prefer. And your I can statement should be at the top, okay? Um, once your notebook looks like this, you're ready to go. All right, so under your action verb flap, okay, you're going to write the following stuff. So an action verb, you should have heard it before, it's pretty common, you should have already learned this, it's just a good review. Um, it's words that express, express action, okay? So for example, Miss Hoover runs in the race. Obviously I don't run in races, but if I did, my runs would be my action verb because it is, it is expressing what action I'm doing. Okay, so run is my action verb. See if you can think of an example yourself to also put under that flap. But underneath your action verb flap, you need words that, that express action. And my wonderful example of me running the race. Go ahead, pause, and get that down. Our next flap is our helping verbs. Um, underneath the flap, you need to write the definition, which is a helping verb is words that obviously help the main verb, okay? So they're kind of bros, and they help each other out, okay? So they express the action or state of being. Um, so for example, Joey might win the race. That might is helping us understand win a little bit better. So it's kind of helping the verb out. It's giving it that extra push, the extra information, the extra detail to help us understand that sentence a little bit more. Go ahead and make sure you have underneath your helping verbs flap, words that help the main verb. And they also express an action or state of being. Um, and put down an example. Joey might win the race. If you can, think of your own example. So what might you do? Okay. We're going to do some more examples later on in the video. So go ahead, pause, get that down. Our last one kind of reminds me of the show The Weakest Link. You are not the weakest link, so I'm not going to say you goodbye. But underneath our, our linking verbs, um, linking verbs are a little bit lengthier definition. Okay. So I'm going to explain it first, and we can kind of highlight what we want to put down. So linking verbs do not express action, okay? Instead, they connect the subject of the verb to the additional information about the subject, okay? So what we really need to know there is that they connect, okay? They connect the subject of the verb to the additional information about the subject. So what I'm talking about is Miss Hoover is the fastest runner, okay? So that is, is connecting our subject, which is me, to our verb, which is fastest, uh, helps describe what runner would be what our verb is doing. That's what I'm doing in this imaginary race that I would never run in, okay? So is helps link together um, that I'm the fastest runner. So without that is, it'd be really hard to understand what I'm trying to get across, okay? So just know that linking verbs do not express action, but make sure you get down to what's highlighted. They connect the subject of the verb to the additional information about the subject, okay? And get that example down as well. So you need under the flap this definition along with your example. Go ahead, pause the video, get that down. All right, um, if you're at this step, you should have all three of your flaps all ready to go. Um, when you, uh, open them, they should have the definition and an example. We're going to keep going with action verbs, I know that's cut off, but go back to your action verb flap, okay? And on the outside of the flap, not on the inside, so right about here, you're going to write these examples of action words. So we have swim, dive, dance, run, create, sing, sit, and drive. Go ahead, pause the video if you need to to get those down. Once you have those down, see if you can think of four more. Oh, I don't know how to count. I said four and wrote it down. So see if you can think of four more 
also put those on the outside of your flap, okay? Um, just to help you kind of remember what action verbs are and don't overthink it. It's really simple things. So just like singing and sitting, it can be driving, dancing, whatever you, whatever you do on a daily basis, walk, drive, whatever. So just get four more down on the outside of that flap. Go ahead, pause the video and do so. Um, the next thing I wanted to cover is the other kind of graphic organizer I gave you. Um, this is just a list that you actually don't have to write down. It's just of common linking verbs. So when you see those in your writing or in your reading, you're going to know that that's a linking verb because you have this wonderful list. Um, I just want you to remember what a linking verb is. They connect the subject of the verb to the additional information about the subject. Okay. So example is Joey is the fastest runner. So then we have is right here. Okay. So you make sure those are pasted into your notebook and feel free to highlight or circle any ones that you use all the time or ones that you were kind of shocked about or star, however you want to organize it. Same thing for helping verbs. I just kind of gave you a little cheat sheet, okay? Um, some common helping verbs are am, are, is, was, were, could, should, will, would. You guys can see all of that. And a reminder, helping verbs are words that help the main verb. So for example, I am playing basketball. I'm using the word am to help that main verb, which would be playing. Okay. All right, so in conclusion, you have three types of verbs that we learned about today. We have action, which is like swimming. Linking, which would be like the word is, it helps link our sentence together. And helping helps their verb out, okay? They are best friends forever, and they help each other out. I wrote down your I can statement again. So your I can statement by the end of this lesson was, I can define action, linking, and helping verbs. Um, if you don't think you can do that right now, I encourage you to pause it, go back a little bit, and make sure you get that. If you feel really confident, then you're good to go. Thank you very much.